Hey, do yourself a favor real quick. Go grab your AR-15 out of the safe, out of the closet, and take a look at your pistol grip. Does it still have that skinny, hard plastic grip that it came with? Kind of like this uh, M16A2 style here with the finger tab. Maybe it's one that you picked up on a recommendation. Maybe you're looking for a new one. Either way, for just 20 to 30 bucks, maybe that's a couple skip Mickey D's visits, you can absolutely improve how you function with your AR. So let's talk pistol grip. Hey guys, Randy here with AT3Tactical.com with episode 14 of our Ultimate AR-15 Guide. Man, we've come a long way already, but of course, we need to dedicate an entire episode to the lowly pistol grip. Now, not always the most thought about AR part and accessory on your average shooter's mind, but being one of the only three points of contact between you and your entire AR platform, could probably use a little more consideration than we give it, in which case, we're gonna give these a little unsung heroes of the range a hot and heavy spotlight today. Talk about what to feel for in grip angle, texture, ergonomics. Okay, so right off the bat, let's get the regulations disclaimer out of the way. Yes, we are currently living in a time where some of your states out there, uh, they have pistol grip regulations. Oftentimes, to the effect of any pistol grip that would allow you to completely wrap your hand around the grip to use the trigger simultaneously or a pistol grip that protrudes conspicuously below the stock. I'll tell you, uh, what a time to be alive, right? So please check your local regulations. All right, so with that out of the way, we're on to those four features that set one pistol grip apart from another. The first is your grip angle. There's really just two important components to think about here, and one is your wrist dexterity, and the other is your trigger pull, and both of which they can pretty substantially change between the extreme ends of the pistol grip angles these days. We're talking about angles ranging from zero degrees to the roughly 25 degrees of the old trusty, often hated A2 style grip here on the M&P 15. Let's start with trigger pull. Watch the direction my finger naturally rests and travels while holding this 25 degree grip. See how it's angled slightly upward and rearward with the natural squeeze of my trigger? Whereas here, if I rotate the grip to a nearly zero degree angle, uh, the natural pull of my trigger is much flatter, almost dead on horizontal. Okay, so pretty interesting, but I'd say that most folks picking those zero degree options, they're likely uh, more geared towards long range precision shooting, maybe hunting uh, where every last aspect of flat shooting is dialed in. As for the rest of us, the decision comes down to sticking with this aggressive 25 degree angle or something a little more comfortable around 15 degrees, which is really becoming the norm across manufacturers these days. And this is where that dexterity component of the, your grip angle comes in. So how long do you feel yourself able to maintain you know, or maybe even maneuver with a zero degree or 25 degree angle? Might not be too noticeable if you're not out there on longer range sessions, uh, but I know for me, automatically this aggressive A2 angle here, is just not comfortable compared to the 15 degree options that are out there. Let's talk about build materials next because this is another area where the haters of the old A2 style grip, myself included, we have some beef with the slippery kind of smooth hard plastic feel. Uh, so first the deal with hard poly plastic. Actually, the options for rubber versus poly, they're pretty neck and neck for being the most popular. So it almost comes down to just a personal preference for the feel. Gloves, no gloves, wet, sweaty conditions, etc. Rubberized, that's the type of grip that tickles my fancy. Several guys here around the AT3 warehouse. And having wielded this A2 style for almost a couple decades, I feel more confident actually about gripping rubber, especially with gloves and uh, that slight pliable give to the rubber. It feels like I can really dig my grip in. Metallic pistol grips, however, they are out there and many times they have some of the highest like cool looking factor. Uh, might also be advertised for as a uh, lightweight. But as for major advantages over the other two, plastic and uh, rubber, it's hard to point to anything other than they do look pretty cool in those anodized colors. 
All right, we get to talk about your pistol grips grippiness or texture next. We're talking anywhere from as smooth as a baby's behind with a few ridges to some heavier stippling on the front, maybe the sides and sometimes the back strap here, like this B5 Type 23. Uh, I do wish they actually put some stippling in the back, but that's just me. I will say that this is one area where it would probably help to head to your local store, ask if you can open and feel a few because out of the 14 or so grips that I opened up here, not one of them had a fully sealed package, meaning you should be able to pop it open easily, feel some things around, but please just be a good human and put it back. Next set of pistol grip features to pay attention to, they're not necessarily make or break decisions for everyone uh, except maybe color, but they are definitely worth tuning into to narrow down what you don't want first. Let's talk about thickness for a second. The center of this A2 style grip, it's about 1.12 inches thick and about 1.75 inches wide. Whereas this fat little ergo rubberized grip, it's about 1.72 inches thick and right about two inches wide. I think you man, bear, pig, pod type guys would appreciate more material to hold on to uh, for your hand's sake and more ergonomic, or ergonomical large grip. But at the same time, there's not a lot of massive group of shooters out there who appreciate the often thinner A2 style here, uh, which probably puts most of us somewhere in between. Luckily, that's pretty much in line with the thicknesses of 80% or more of the pistol grips already out there. Most will run slightly thicker than this little guy over here, so there's still a large pool of options. We do also have to hit on grip height. Not many of us need a ton of extra space under your natural grip against the receiver. And yes, there are some height differences out there, but I'll, I'll put it this way. Out of the 14 random grips that I opened here on the table, there's maybe a max of a quarter of an inch of difference at best. That means the majority are going to be generally universal in height. Actually, most of those concerned with height uh, are actually looking for the opposite, shorter, more compact, maybe like a truck gun or CQB, uh, like this Reptilia CQG here. It's naturally shorter. Don't forget about storage in your pistol grip. Plenty of options with and without it, but I will say that for the amount of gear that you'll store that actually makes sense, lens cloth, optic battery, maybe a Torx or Allen head for your optics, the amount of room in something like the Magpul Plus or the K2 Plus is more than enough. All right, here's a couple more pistol grip considerations coming at you rapid fire. It all revolves around the design, the aesthetics, because it does also have to look cool, in which case, uh, the sky's the limit, the rainbow is the limit for color options here, like this red marbled Hogue overmolded grip. Actually, while we're looking at this one and on the topic of design, you see some with finger molds, some without, grips with varying degrees of flare outs down here on the bottom for your indexing point, with or without beaver tails for continuous gripping surface between your hand and your uh, AR lower. Tabs like these to bridge the little gap here, not always a good fit, but on that note of grip fitment, more than 95% of the time, if it's made for your AR-15, your pistol grip, it's gonna fit. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be perfect fitment across the board. There's just some grips that don't seat as seamlessly uh, on some lowers, even if you crank down on that pistol grip screw. Uh, speaking of that pistol grip screw, most grips do come with a pistol grip screw or an additional one. Some don't, but that's fine because you can rinse and reuse the one that already is in your rifle. But I would suggest that 99 cents is worth one that has an Allen wrench head instead of the Phillips or flatheads. You know, next to magazine stocks, pistol grips, they're right up there with having one of the largest pools of manufacturers, options, features. So me finding one that fits Randy or Sam back here finding a different pistol grip that fits Sam, that is the key. It's 100% personal, although many of us find ourselves migrating to those popular pistol grips like the Magpul Mo and the Mo Pluses or the B5 systems. They're comfortable and they work. Come to think of it, there is one other area of your AR-15. It has a ton of options to wade through for what's right for you versus what's right for me. But we actually hit that next right over here. It's episode 15, handguard accessories. It's, it's so thick we might have to break it into two parts, but we'll see you over here first.